As the nation ponders the future of the nuclear option and wonders if our plants are safe or just as vulnerable as the crippled reactors in Japan, there's yet another major question out there that we must answer. So what do we do with all the nuclear waste? It's a big issue from our standpoint in, this, in, in one respect in that uh, the government is not meeting its obligation to take this to use nuclear fuel that they were supposed to take and begin to dispose of it. 121 sites in 33 states currently store more than 60,000 metric tons of used fuel. Most, like the facility at Three Mile Island, have the capacity to add to that waste for 30 or 40 years, storing it in dry casts or in cooling pools like they do in Bay City, Texas. This is a solution for us, and we can, we can store it. As, as long as it needs to be stored. Uh, we have enough storage room for 40 years, to the entire 40-year license, uh, license of the plant, and we'll store it for that, for that entire duration or until the Department of Energy takes possession of it. It's fuel cooling pools like these that are being closely watched as the events in Japan unfold. There, the pools sit on the top level of the reactor buildings, but the cooling systems for the water have failed. Many of the spent fuel pools are, are containing uh, two, three hundred, um, uh, four hundred metric tons of high-level radioactive waste um, are outside of containment. Uh, this is by design. Ward Sprout was in charge of this issue at the U.S. Department of Energy from 2006 to 2009. You know, maybe they have enough space for 30 or 40 years, and, and you know, our immediate thought was, well, what happens in year 41? It's, it's a very good question, and by the Nuclear Waste Policy Act that was passed by Congress in 1982 and amended in 1986, it's the Department of Energy's responsibility to pick that fuel up and take it to the repository at Yucca Mountain, Nevada. Yucca Mountain is a volcanic ridge located 100 miles northwest of Las Vegas, Nevada. It's where the Department of Energy hopes to create the national storage site for high-level radioactive waste, both for commercial plants and defense activities. They've been working on it for 30 years at a cost of more than $10 billion, paid for by a tax on utility companies using nuclear power and funds from the federal budget. But the Obama administration has cut off funding and decided to stop all work on the Yucca Mountain project. Proponents are now suing to try and overturn the administration's actions. Those suits are pending before the U.S. Court of Appeals. What happens if you don't build Yucca Mountain? What happens to all that waste? That's a very good question because the Nuclear Waste Policy Act is mute on that issue. Um, if, for whatever reason, the NRC does not grant the department the authority to build the repository at Yucca Mountain. Um, the, the current law does not provide any f other direction to the Department of Energy on what to do. What can you imagine? I mean, what would you do? Well, I think the, the appropriate solution at that stage of the game, depending on what the reason was that the NRC didn't give the department construction authorization, would be either to modify the design so that the NRC would allow us to build a repository, or if that was not an option, then probably to build some sort of centralized interim storage uh, somewhere in the U.S. on government land. I heard you use that word interim. It seems like that is the problem with the waste, is that it's traveling around. We're always looking for a final destination for it. You know, besides Yucca, does that final destination exist? Well, no, it doesn't. Critics say that will always be the main stumbling block for nuclear power, how to dispose of the radioactive waste. There is no disposal of the waste at this point. It's sitting at all the reactor sites. And as far as I can tell, Yucca Mountain isn't going to open anytime soon. If it were to open, um, you would already have filled it with the waste we already have from both the military and from the commercial nuclear industry. Four times a year, the LST Calhoun County moves out to sea to bury the waste in deep waters. The long-range effects of radioactive wastes on underwater life already worry some scientists. We were looking at a film from 50 years ago um, where workers were essentially pushing barrels of nuclear waste over the side of a ship into water. Obviously, we don't do that anymore. No. But it seems like we haven't gotten past trying to put it somewhere. What's the next solution after that? Is it recycling? I think clearly, I, I'm, I firmly believe that in the future, we will go to 
closing the fuel cycle, as we call it. In other words, going to recycling spent nuclear fuel in this country. The only question is when and what process we'll use when we do it. Will we use the same process as the French use or will we use something else? I suspect we'll probably use something else. Why? Because it, with the French process, they separate pure plutonium from their uranium. And there are proliferation concerns with that process of, of building your stockpiles of, of pure plutonium. So is what they're doing dangerous from a national security point of view? Um, I wouldn't call it dangerous. What I would say is that um, it is not as proliferation resistant as we would like to have in this country.